One simple way to make a graph in Excel uh, is to use a line graph when you've got two different variables and here I've got uh, time and there's actually three sets of data and the variables involved are time and here we've got some plants and some snails and some minnows. So how I'd plot a graph of these uh, in a simple way is I could insert a line graph and I'll select a line graph with points on it and this is uh, what I would suggest you don't do uh, which is just by highlighting the text or clicking where the uh, sorry where the numbers are uh, it will automatically draw your graph now a lot of the time it won't be correct and it's got most of it the way I wanted it but it's actually added in time as one of the uh, one of the sets of data to be plotted so that's not what I want so I'm just going to uh, delete that and I'll show you how to do it so actually one easy way uh, no, I'll just delete it. Okay, so if I start by clicking away from the data and I go insert line graph and I'll just bring it over here a bit away from the data so I can see what's going on, make it a little bit bigger and what I do then to select the data I want on the graph is I right click and I get select data Then this box here, I can add a series. So the, my first series will be for plants. And what I do is, if I click in this box here, I can select the name of the series. And I come back again. And then I select the values. OK, so now I've got my first series. Now, I also want another series for snails, so I'm going to add the one for snails here, so the name for this series is snails, and the data is this lot. And I've got one more set of data to add here. And this one's for minnows. Okay, now you might notice now that, okay, it hasn't got the right thing on the horizontal axis here and the way I select what I want on the horizontal axis is over here it says horizontal axis labels and I click edit and I want to select all the values that go on the horizontal axis and they're over here in the time column and I click OK and there I've got a pretty good pretty close getting pretty close to the graph that I want now there's a few things missing of course and these three tabs up here control everything on the graph once it's when it's selected uh, and I want some titles on the axes so there's one and I'll put a rotated title on the vertical axis and I also want the name of the chart above the chart and so my uh, suggestions here are here you should have the name of the uh, what is usually the independent variable on the horizontal axis and also the units in this title here and then on the vertical axis which is usually the dependent variable and the units if there are units. Uh, so what you need to do on this one is for the vertical axis you have to come up with a collective term that would describe what all, a category that all these three things could fit into that could be the label for the vertical axis. If you're not sure talk to the people around you and see if you can come up with a word. Uh, I'll give you a hint 
uh, it, one word uh, that you could use might start with O. It's not just O, it's the number of O and the word. Anyway, see if you can come up with that. Uh, and the title. Now my suggestion for titles for graphs is to use the, the rule Y versus X. So for the chart title you could write what the what's on the Y axis versus what's on the X axis. And that's a good way to remember that little rule about plotting things on graphs. So there you go, there's a line graph. Uh, and then it's uh, you can then use that to compare these three different sets of data.